Hey guys, for all of you watching this right now, what I wanted to do for you is give you access to a couple of clips from our course that we have, FX Accelerator. But I highly suggest if you are looking to take this market more seriously, you want to learn overall more about this market and how you can become a more successful trader, I highly recommend going through this course. But with further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the course with these next clips. What's going on guys? I want to welcome you to the first video of this course. We have so much great information that we're going to go over, but let's dive in. For all of you that do not know what Forex is, this is actually the world's largest financial market. It is a $5.3 trillion daily traded market. The regular traditional stock market is actually an $80 billion stock market. So this market is actually a bigger stock market, so there's much more money to be made. It is buying and selling of different currencies. So instead of a stock market where you buy and sell into companies, what we're buying and selling to are different currencies like the USD, the Euro, the CAD, the JPY, and other currencies like that. Now let me warn you right now, there is so much risk involved in this market. If you do not have a mentor to direct you, somebody to guide you, then you are most likely going to fail. Now the beautiful thing about the Forex market is you can trade anywhere in the world. Isn't that crazy guys? You can trade in Japan. You can trade in California with me. You can do this anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. Now we trade Forex all off a mobile or a desktop platform. So most of the time everyone will trade on a mobile platform, but I actually like to trade on a desktop platform, a computer so I can see a bigger screen, so I can overall see what the market is doing. You get a better view that way. We do trade through brokers, so it's not like where you physically go into a store and give your money to someone. You actually trade through online brokers. So a broker is kind of like a bank account. They hold the money in your account that you trade with, and you and only you have access to this money other than your broker. And the brokers take a very low fee, but we're going to go over that in a couple of minutes. Now, the Forex market is open 24 hours a day, five days a week. It opens every Sunday at 2 p.m., and then it closes every Friday at 2 p.m. So it's open other than that 24 hours a day. And like I said earlier, your banks trade Forex with your money. So when you go and put money in your bank account, they're trading your money in the Forex market. I know a lot of you don't know that, but when I heard that, I was like, wow, that is extremely crazy. Now let's move on, guys. Are there risk in Forex? Well, duh. I mean, everything in life is a risk. When you go to sleep, you're risking not waking up the next morning. So, I mean, if you're scared of losing money in this market, you might as well wear a helmet on your head 24 hours a day and never take it off. <laughs> so, the Forex market has very low transaction costs. There is only 1% to 3% taken out of your profit from the broker. So, it's not like they're taking 10% of your money, 20%, 30%. They're taking a very low fee of 1% to 3% per trade. So it is very high liquidity and high risk. So if you guys are coming in this market without a mentor, somebody guiding you, I promise you, you're going to fail. You're going to lose a lot of money. Now they say when trading Forex, it's 90% emotional and 10% technical, meaning that it's basically all in your head. So when you're looking at a chart and you're like, well, I think that this market might be a buy market, you're most likely going to be right that first instinct that you get. Now there is very low risk with proper risk and guidance, so that's exactly why you guys join this program. So I could show you guys basically how to compound your money day after day, week after week, instead of blowing your account and losing money. I've actually lost $1,500 right in front of my eyes in a matter of minutes by being greedy. And let me tell you guys, they say greed is the root of all evil, and it really is. I was trading gold versus the US dollar, and I think I was selling that pair, meaning that I want the value of the USD to be higher than gold. And I sold that pair, and I remember I was up like $50. I was super excited because I think it was like my first couple of trades I ever started trading with. And anyway, I started making some money. I made like $50, and then the trade was still fluctuating in the market, and I leave my phone for 20 minutes, and I come back, and my account is on zero. And I'm like, no way. This has to be a default in the market. And I look at my history, and then it says negative $1,500. I was so emotional, so sad, but I mean, me being greedy, it got the best of me. I blew my account like that, and I was very sad, but... We're going to go over this chart right here. This is the lot size playbook. This is something you guys need to have written down at all times that you can refer to because it is very important. So if you guys have 50 to to $100 in your account, you're going to be doing a 0 0.01 lot size, a micro lot. Now let's say that you have 400 to $500 in your account, you're going to be doing a 0 0.06 lot size, still a micro lot, a little bit bigger than a one cent lot. It's a six cent lot. 
And then let's say that you have $700 to $800 in your account, you'd be doing 0 0.10 lot. That's a mini lot. So let's say that you guys are starting your account with $1,000. So the way that it works is for every $100, it's adding one penny. So I basically go by, if you have $100 in your account, you'd be, you'd be doing a 0 0.01 lot. If you have $200, you'd be doing a 0 0.02 lot. If you have 300 so and so, 400 so and so, five. Now that first video that we just went over was an introduction to Forex. Did you like it? Well, you're gonna like this next video even more because we go more in depth and show you actually how to use a couple of indicators. Enjoy. Welcome to the module five indicators. I'm gonna show you some very powerful tools that we use to trade so we can identify whether it's gonna be a buy or a sell market. So let's dive in. All right, guys, the first indicator that I want to go over is the RSI. It stands for Relative Strength Index. It basically tells us when it's an overbought market or an oversold market. So we can look at this. You guys can see to the right, I have my RSI with my regular chart right here. And it's very beautiful because with this tool, the key levels in this market are 30, 50, and then 70. So the 30% level, that means that it's oversold. So you guys can see right here on the chart, on the RSI, it was right there at that 30% line. And then do you guys see right up here on this chart as well, how when it was at the 30%, it was hitting big points of support down here, and then eventually went into an uptrend. And what do we see here after that major point right there? We see it go up into an uptrend. This tool is really just to give us another idea whether the market's gonna be a buy or a sell market. So it's a very good tool, it's very accurate, but when we're trading it, we usually want to look for it to go right above the 70% for a sell. And if we're looking for a buy market, we want it to hit the 30% levels right down here. So you guys can see that hit the 30% level right there. That mark went deeper than this one. And then this one, it didn't break that support down there just like it did right here. And you guys can see that had the three pins at the bottom, a triple bottom. It hit it three times on support. This one went kind of deep, but this one was our deepest point that it hit support and then you can see this level right here it actually declined that support so it didn't go lower than this point right here and on our rsi if you guys are looking at this on the metatrader 4 app you can zoom in you can zoom out and you can actually use this little plus sign right here if you click that with your mouse you can use it and you can move it anywhere on the chart so you can like look at levels if you're looking for a point of support or resistance to line up perfectly so you can use that and you can line it up right here so it goes right here on the 30% or the current time frame they're at. Let's say it's right here. So you'll move your little plus sign right down here and it should line up perfectly to this chart right here. So you can identify whether it's going to be a buy market or a sell market just by looking at the RSI. So right here you can see that it's looking about to hit the 70% level on the RSI. And what do we see right here? This point in the market, it's going up into an uptrend, but... If we look to our left, we can see previous resistance right here. So usually when we're looking at the market, guys, look to the left. Structure leaves clues. So if we look to the left right here, we see previous points of resistance where the market hit it and then declined. So maybe we might see that same thing happen here. It might come up to these levels. You can see that a key level that lines up perfectly right here is the 1.16570 level. So probably to 1.16570 to 1.16600. So around those levels, it might hit that. If we were to zoom out of the chart, we could see what's gonna happen in the future and identify the previous resistance over here at the exact price that they are at. So overall, this does look like a nice buy market for the time remaining. We should see it come up to the 70% levels and then once it gets around here, it should start to drop again. But we can see a big valley of V pattern and it's probably going to go to maybe another M pattern or it might just do an A pattern and drop. But that's just my analysis on I think what is going to happen in this market. And you guys can see as we form that W pattern, I think we actually went over this chart another time before and we saw that W pattern. We marked it up. But you can see that it came in and hit this W pattern. Then we have our first level and our second level. And it looks to be our third level right here. Maybe up here is our third level. And it's probably going to go to a fourth level and then drop down. So that's my analysis, what I think and probably will happen on this chart. But let's go over the chart right now so I can actually show you how the RSI works on a big chart. Let's go over the chart. What you guys want to do when you get to the actual chart is you want to go to indicators right here. And then what you could do. You can go here and then type in RSI and it should pop up relative strength index right there. Click that and then it will automatically add it to your chart. You guys can now see right there. What you could do is even go right here 
and you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller if you zoom out again so you can actually like zoom in and get a bigger view and be like all right well did hit the 70 percent levels you guys can see that it did come up to the 76 percent levels and then it dropped down on so look at the other chart you guys can see that kind of did that as well and then it dropped down so the rsi is a big help guys when we're looking at it what you can also do is go to this tab right here and you can change the price line so maybe you want it at 80 percent instead of 70 or maybe you want it at 20 percent and you can do this if you want if you want to just verify the levels a little bit differently please tell me that you got value from that video there was so much value in those five minutes but if you did it i want to show you some live action where we had a live trading webinar with the team and you actually get access to these live trading webinars in the group chat that you guys are currently in but enjoy all right welcome guys we're gonna get started right now let me share my screen so you guys can all see it. All right, everybody should be able to see my screen, yeah? Pretty sure that everyone can yeah, see it. Can. All right, perfect. Guys, I hope that everyone's having a great day. A little update on the course. We have over four hours made of trainings, of value. You guys are going to get so much value from the new course coming out. For all of you that are currently in the course watching this, this is a replay of a webinar that we're doing, but everyone in this webinar right now, welcome guys. We're going to start by going into the trades. These are a couple setups that we're looking at. We actually currently are in Euro Chef, and we are looking for a sell on this pair. I actually want to show you guys exactly why we're in this pair. The biggest reason overall as to why when we're looking for a trade is we're going to zoom out of the chart and overall get a perspective of what's going on in the market. Obviously, you guys can see right off the bat, if you guys can see this, you guys see the head and shoulders pattern right here, how it had the left shoulder right here, then it had the head, then the right shoulder. Let me draw it out so you guys can see. It doesn't lag. All right, perfect. There's the left shoulder. Let me get this again. All right, so this is one of the most common patterns in the market, guys. It is called a head and shoulders pattern. And it is called this because you guys can literally see it's a head and then we have two shoulders right here. So you can see that we have the left shoulder right here and then we have our head right here and then our right shoulder right here. Now you guys can also see when we're looking at this market right here, we can see that we're going for our second level right down here. At these levels, you guys can see that went down here to our first level, came up, declined previous support. And if you guys look, this level, or I mean it declined previous resistance, sorry. And you guys can see right here on this level right here, it actually lines up perfectly to previous resistance at our shoulder to the left right there. Do you guys see how when I put that trend line down right there, it lines up perfectly to resistance over here? So we can see that that's a valid point for our right shoulder. It did hit resistance. It did decline. And now we're looking for our second level right down here. But what we're overall looking for in this trade is a break of support down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Fibonacci's in a second. I'm going to show you guys exactly as to why we are going to be looking for a good sell on this market. Not just because we're on our second level right here and we have a head and shoulders pattern. But let me delete all the animations from the chart. And if you guys do not know, this is TradingView.com. This is one of our trading platforms that we use to trade off of. So now what I'm going to do is go right here on the third tab, grab the Fibonacci's, go swing low to swing high. Let me see if I did that right. Perfect. So let me switch it around. So our 100% level is going to be right here at the top. And then we're going to find our trading range right here. So our nearest point of support right there. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is grab this and extend it into the future so we can see a little bit better on what's going on down here. So you guys can see the most retraceable levels when we use this tool, guys, are the 50% and the 628 levels. So I'm going to mark it up so you guys can see. So these levels right here where that red box is are the most consolidating points in the market. And we can see that our Fibonacci's are laid out correctly because right between these levels, you guys see how the left shoulder had a lot of consolidation in these levels and even the right shoulder. So we can see recently on our trading range right here for the last couple of candles on the four hour, do you guys see how these two pins right here, it came up? to the 50% level on the Fibonacci's and it declined those levels and closed below it. So if we're looking 
at these levels right here these are very powerful levels in the market do you guys see how on this part in the market it needed very long candles to break this resistance right here once it broke that it totally shot up same thing down here when it broke this support down here it needed long candles and you guys can see in the market right here it went down then up it tried to break the six to eight levels but overall the candles closed below that and every candle after these two pins to the top it just went lower and lower and lower till we hit support down here and then it tried to go up one more time and retest the levels at the 50 percent level but you guys can see the pins to the top means that it's going to drop so we have multiple indications telling us that this is going to be a sell trade first off we have our first level in the market then we came for our second level right here so tried to break our second level up to 50% levels decline so now what we're looking for on this chart is a break of support down here so what we now need to verify that this is going to be a good sell market for the time remaining is we need to break this point of support right here so overall we are going to hold this sell on this pair what I would do is put a stop loss right above here at the 50% level because I highly doubt that it's even going to try and test these levels but we're going to be safe we're going to put our stop loss right there and then what we're going to do is aim for a lower take profit I would probably put my take profit right around these levels right here at 15700 levels and we're just going to ride it out was that cool or what I think that you guys are really going to like this next video because this next video actually is from one of our top six figure traders in the company watch it and enjoy Hello traders, welcome to our first video, which will be on supply and demand and support and resistance, which are one of the most key aspects of trading, and along with the trend, of course, but when you add support and resistance with trend analysis, the odds are highly in your favor. So we're going to just keep an eye on the overall view of where price is headed, so I like to start off taking it to the monthly time frame. You can kind of see the overall direction. This is like a big W pattern, which is a really good uptrend pattern. So that's one odd we have in our favor. Next, we'll take it to the weekly time frame. Draw our overall trend. If we take the wick up here, Connect it to that wick and move it down. You can see price was following a nice downtrend, making lower lows and lower highs. Came over here, made a strong push candle right here, which moved about, let's see, 250 pips with this one candle. Found resistance right here. We can mark our zone clearly. As you can see, resistance this area is acting as a ceiling pushed away came up this candle right here broke out retested as a new floor and you can see strong move to the upside hit resistance up here price tumbled back to the downside came back to the zone this zone is now acting as a new ceiling and you can see price pushed down made its way back up breakout Found some resistance right here, or you could call it a supply zone. Right here, ceiling, 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 breakout. This is, you could call this a false breakout because it came up here to test this trend line. We got two more rejections, a little pin bar right here showing a reversal that buyers try to push price higher. Close down here and you can see the sell off begins. So now from down here we would look for our next zone of interest. See support, resistance, resistance, price cannot push above this level. Push back down. Came back, broke out immediately. Came back to test the support, broke back below, hit this 200 EMA, which we could call a, a support region. And from here, you can see price has pushed its way back up. Tested this trend line again and broke out. So now we have a pullback, 
which is showing us that we are making higher highs and lows overall. Higher high, higher low. And from here, we will likely see a push higher to the next higher high region, which would be 135, 500 region over here. So now that we have our overall weekly view and we can see our zones clearly, we take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, each candle counts as one day, of course, and we can see clearly that this resistance is now acting as a new support. You see price pushed away strong, showing that this is a very valid area. Push back up, this candle broke to the upside, closed above right here. Once that close happened, you can see price pushed its way all the way up here. Found resistance around the 133 500 psychological number. From there, you can see rejection, rejection, and push back to the downside, showing that we're getting some exhaustion and price is building up some, some momentum so we can make a new higher high. We put our trend line. Now guys, those are a couple of clips from our main course. The main course actually does have seven plus hours of training value that you guys will have access to at any point in time. The initial investment is 397 or the price may have changed below, but if you guys are ready to get started, just click that link below under this video and you guys will be able to sign up and there might even be a discount code for you.